Hello guys, welcome to the next part of the video on aircraft maintenance practice. So I will be discussing about wiring manual and again I won't be looking at the camera because of uh, the dengue problem as I am yet to recover. My platelets are slowly getting increased now uh, but then I still got this pain. So I won't be looking uh, at the camera, so I will be looking at some other place. <coughs> so let's start off with the wearing manual. So if we look into wearing manual, what exactly the, inform it, the information it displays? It displays regarding the electrical system, it also to some extent tells us, uh, tells us about the mechanical system. Now all the circuit diagram that are shown in the wiring diagram manual, it represents the aircraft at rest position and this is specified in terms of ATA 100. Now whenever we say at rest, what exactly it means? It means that there could be possible scenario that the aircraft is on ground with the landing uh, position with the landing gear extended the electrical power is off it is switched off the relays are de-energized and uh, the uh, light push uh, uh, switch is in on position remember light push switch is in on position not off so these are the conditions that uh, specifies that the aircraft is at rest and all the wiring diagram that we look at it shows the condition when the aircraft is at rest and this is as per specified in ATA 100 document so at rest is a default setting and if any changes in that case it will be identified in terms of on or off position in the diagram now if you are looking at the diagram, what basically are the types of diagram we are looking at? We are looking at the block diagram, we are looking at the simplified uh, schematic diagram and we also look at the schematic diagram normal and we also look at the wiring diagram. So we will be looking into each of these diagram in, in uh, detail, not in detail but you know some basic idea. So what is block diagram it gives us some overview of the system or the subsystem a broad overview of the systems and subsystems it shows the major functions and components and uh, functional grouping and pertinent pertinent interfaces what about simplified schematic Simplified view of functions, components, and functional grouping, and the <coughs> <coughs> pertinent interfaces are detailed in the simplified schematic diagram. It gives a more detailed view than the block diagram, and then the functions are shown without considering their location in the aircraft or to pin-to-pin -pin circuit <coughs> what about schematic schematic they are used for fault isolation uh, to, up to the LRU level it gives the detailed view it provides the link between the function between the physical implementation it also gives as precisely the location it gives a detailed view of the pin to pin connectivity next we'll look into the wiring diagram so wiring diagram is used for wiring installation it is used for uh, fault diagnosis and repair it does not show the component function but it provides the detailed view of the pin to point a pin-to-pin -pin connectivity. 
Next is circuit wiring uh, identification. Each aircraft has its own system and these are not you know, standard system. Next is separation. Circuits can be separated from each other within the wire bundle. And this is separation. Now why is it necessary? It is necessary to ensure no one bundle will carry wires from circuits that would disable uh, both main and the backup system. It also prevents interference and uh, cross -talk. Now, why it is necessary to prevent interference? It is necessary to prevent interference because interference can cause uh, noise and malfunctioning. Now, what are the type of interference we are looking at? Now, whenever we talk about interference, basically that means electromagnetic interference, it also means electrostatic interference, it means crosstalk and it also means common mode interference. So we look into each of these. So what is electromagnetic interference? Now if uh, the current is flowing through a conductor and if, the, and if that gives rise to the varying magnetic field, that type of interference is known as electromagnetic interference. What is electrostatic interference? If there is some unwanted electric charge to a conductor uh, that is being induced from an adjacent electric field, so that sort of interference is called electrostatic interference. What is crosstalk? If uh, the aircraft, uh, sorry, if uh, there is some AC current or some pulsating DC current signals and these are transmitted in the same or the adjacent cable that would give rise to crosstalk. What is common mode interference? Uh, this happens due to difference in the ground potential. Now for separating circuit uh, manufacture use some groups and these groups different groups are identified by different uh, alphabets now to differentiate or to identify systems within the group some numbers are used so that implies what i am trying to say is to differentiate different groups we use alphabets and to differentiate different systems within the group we use numbers. These are not standard and it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Now this separation code can be given within the wire identification code on the uh, wiring diagram manual. Next is, we have got something called ICA. ICA stands for Instruction for Continued Airworthiness. And these are given in EWIS. Now, why are they given? This is to ensure that the electrical installations are safe and reliable. The next topic we look into is aircraft wire. The commonly used wire used in aircraft are unshielded type and that could be a single core or multi core. It could be shielded type, again it could be a single core and multi core, it could be coaxial or it could be thermocouple. Now each of these wires are marked as per ISO 2754 code. So you need to re remember this that each of these wire marking is based on ISO uh, <coughs> 2574 code. To allow 
ease of wire installation in wiring manual and wire list aircraft manufacturer identify each wire type with its own specific code these codes and the information are found in the uh, electrical practices section of the uh, manuals so that's all for this part in the next part we are going to look into uh, the wire termination and the different types of connections.